Hi, folks, we're back with more River Training, and we're looking at precasts again today. Uh, today, I want to focus on uh, precast uh, width. Now, we did length before. Let's go in our 3D view. So here, um, we had a question in another video about width, the length. So now I'm going to show you how you do a width, what happens, because sometimes these pieces, you see that one's cut there. You have to cut them in order for them to fit. Uh, so basically what I want to do is I'm going to go, hey, let's just drag one out here. Um, be a baby, but I think I got one loaded. I'm going to go just there. Okay, so there's my plank or my, my collar hollow floor. Now this is a family that I've created here, and so I'm going to just take it here and go and look at our properties. And the width is four, so I might say uh, we need a three foot there. So let's go with three. So I'll we'll cut it to three feet. Uh, then sometimes they even have, oh, let me make this a two foot six maybe. So that would be a, a, a good cut for somebody. It would be 2 6 because it's not cutting into the core. So that's what's good about this. Let's go with a 1 foot. See what happens. Yeah, see, that wouldn't be a good cut fit because it's, you know, they try to want to make these in the center. So now this family, I want to just make it 4 feet again. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna go and look at this how we this guy's created. This is one of my favorite ones. So I'm gonna select this guy. I'm gonna edit family here. Okay. So let's look at this in our reference level. Okay, so basically what you have is just a, another, you know, um, basically a framing family, basically. And um, let me see if I can look at this in a 3D view here. Uh, there you go. 3D view like this. So there we have it. And then what happens is if I go into a front elevation, basically what happens, this is a family or a parameter here that's going to be kept as an instance, basically. So what happens is when I say width, it'll always give me the width. Uh, so let's say it's two now. I'm going to go back to four here. OK. So basically, we got a void over here that pushes this back and forth so we can get these cut lengths. So now I'm going to go back into my project here. So that's what's happening here. Uh, we cut these back. Let's look at this in 3D view. We cut these guys back to fit there. And we cut them right there. So basically this, this family, I've not, I created this guy a long time ago. So now we want to go and look at our, finish these drawings off. Uh, the, we created our prior plans and everything. So basically, and another thing, this is a grain terminal, not a grain mill, sorry. Well, it could be a mill. I didn't know what I was talking about. So what happens, this is open, and that's how you would do the, uh, you would use this type of family here to create this. I made this, I think I have a video how how this is created, uh, if you need it. Uh, so then like here, you can do the same. You can go into properties and just change that width to whatever you want to say. I want to change that guy to three feet because I want to open it to something in there and just go, there you go. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, I uh, just wanted to show you that. So now what happens here is um, we need to put together our, our CD drawings. So, so here, uh, go into my project browser. We have our cover sheet and then we have our elevation 
drawing here. So these what happens with the power plan. We simply dragged it up here on the top, and then we got the the elevation, then a bottom below. That's what we did the power plant flow. Same here. And then uh, we got the other elevations. And then we have the plan, our embedment plan drawing here. And then uh, we have sections. So that's basically how you do the drawings for the grain terminal. Uh, and then how you set up the, the, the all the sheets. So hey folks, uh, just wanted to show you this quick video about how you would do a uh, plank, precast plank and use a cut width. I don't know how the cut width works and let me, let's try this right quick. I'm gonna see if I can do this in the Autodesk version. Uh, I'm gonna go insert. I'm gonna load this family here. Uh oh, sorry. I'm gonna load from Autodesk family. I think I got one here. Let's go to precast. Okay, so what do we do here? I'll just go in here and find this uh, structural framing, uh, precast concrete, and here we have our hollow core. We'll load that guy in and see what he does. It should be in here already now. Go to structure beam. We go to our properties. There it is. Let's place it here. Okay. And let's see if I can do a cut width here on this. Cut length, cut. Okay, I don't think you can do that with these, so uh, mine is a little better. Like, so I'm gonna do a edit family and see what we're looking like here. Okay. Uh, these. Width, okay, they do also do a width here. So that's good, so that's a little two. Oh, actually they don't, see what happened? That broke all up. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video, mine does work. <laughs> uh, you can borrow it if you want. Uh, thanks again, everybody. Uh, let me go back in here and see what we got. But yeah, so that's how you do the plank and how you set up the drawings for this project. So folks, uh, thanks for watching. We got all our drawings together here, our elevation drawing, uh, that one, pan drawing, and sections here. So hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe. It helps me make videos like this all the time. Everybody be safe and bye.